All right, so let's wrap up our talk of acids and bases and their reactions by talking about some of the reactions that acids will have with other things. So we know that acids and bases neutralize one another to make a salt and water. But if you react an acid with an active metal, which means a metal that is very reactive, um, it's going to make a salt and hydrogen gas, okay? So here you have an acid, HCl, reacted with magnesium, and you see that basically this is a single replacement reaction. Magnesium's positive, hydrogen's positive. So magnesium replaces hydrogen, and then you get MgCl2 plus 1 minus, so you get MgCl2, and then hydrogen, and then hydrogen's diatomic, so you put a 2. You see that the same thing happens with zinc, who also carries a 2 plus charge, just like magnesium. And then you see another example of magnesium with um, sulfuric acid. Okay, so again, swaps places with the hydrogen and makes hydrogen gas. Okay, so basically that's what's going to happen. You're going to be displacing a hydrogen here. Okay, another type of reaction that you might have to deal with would be a reaction of acids with metal carbonates. All right, now you are familiar with this reaction. Um, carbonates are things like baking soda. Baking soda, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. And we'll see if I can get the formula up here. All right, so here's our carbonate, and there's sodium. So this is going to be sodium carbonate. <clears throat> sodium carbonate, it really should be, baking soda is bicarbonate, so NaHCO3, but nonetheless, it's still a carbonate, and you have a weak acid, acetic acid over here, and basically you have a double replacement reaction happen, okay? So the fronts are going to swap, so you're going to get the hydrogen and the sodium swap in places. So <clears throat> you have Na getting the C2H3O2, and then you're also going to form water and carbon dioxide. So this is something you kind of have to memorize, is when you have an acid that reacts with a carbonate, the carbonate is going to make carbon dioxide and water, and then you're going to get the metal that was on the carbonate attached to um, the anion of the acid, okay, which in this case is the C2H3O2. That is the volcano reaction. It's also um, responsible for damage done on a lot of the limestone work we have, calcium carbonate. Okay, so here's a picture of George Washington's statue before, and here he is after. So you see that the acid rain, so the acid from the rain is coming in on this calcium carbonate, and it's reacting to produce, let's guess, oh, let's not even guess, let's just know. It's going to be calcium, and then some part of the acid, and then it's going to make water and carbon dioxide, and he's going to look like this. So not so pretty anymore, okay? So those are the two type of reactions you might have to deal with um, regarding acids.